In this video, I will show you how to fix if you're getting an error message on Steam since Steam must be running to play this game. So let's jump straight into it. So if you are trying to play a game on Steam and you're getting an error message which looks like this with an error code or something like that, there's a few things you can try to resolve this problem. So the first thing I would recommend is actually just going ahead and restarting Steam. So what you're going to want to do is exit out of Steam fully. So to do this, come down to the bottom right hand corner on your desktop and click onto the arrow to show hidden icons. Then what you want to do is locate the Steam icon, right click and then click onto exit Steam. So what it's going to do is shut down Steam and then what you can do is just go ahead and open up Steam again and try to play a game and see if that does resolve your problem. Now the second fix I would recommend if this is not working for you is to actually disable your firewall as sometimes your firewall or antivirus can actually interfere with certain games on Steam and allow this message to appear. So to do that what you're going to want to do is come down to the bottom left hand corner on your desktop and you want to click onto the search box and type firewall into here. Underneath best match just open up your firewall and network protection and what you're going to want to do is check that your Steam app is allowed through firewall. So to do that from this screen all you want to do is navigate to where it says allow an app through the firewall, give this a click and that's going to open up a window like this. So what you're going to want to do is just scroll through this list of apps and it's in alphabetical order so you just want to come down to S and you want to make sure that Steam is shown here and that both the private and public boxes over here are both ticked. Now if you don't see the Steam app showing, what you're going to want to do is press onto the box up here which says change settings, then come down and press onto allow another app. Then what you can do is press the browse button and locate the Steam app which is generally on your desktop if you have it as a desktop item. If not you can just come into your C drive and of course add it that way. So if that's allowed then what you're going to want to do what I would recommend is going ahead and restarting Steam and trying again to see if that fixes the problem. So the next fix is it could actually be a problem with the game itself. So it could be due to corrupt game files or some kind of bug or something like that. So what I would recommend doing next is once you've logged in Steam, coming up to the top left hand corner and pressing onto your game's library. Then what you want to do is find the game that you're unable to play, that you're getting the error message from. So in this example, I'm just going to click onto Tabletop Simulator. Now what you're going to want to do is right click onto the game in the game list on the left hand side and then come down and click onto Properties. What it's going to do is bring up a window like this and if you come over to the left hand side you're going to want to click onto installed files and then what you're going to want to do is verify the integrity of game files so you can see this option here just go ahead and click this button it just takes a minute or two to do this and what it's going to do is basically scan the game files to see if there's anything missing or any corrupt or damaged files in which case it's going to offer you an option to reinstall and fix the installation and basically allow you to play the game again. So again, after doing this, just go ahead and restart Steam and hopefully one of these methods will help you to resolve this problem. So that is how to go ahead and fix if you're getting an error message then Steam must be running to play this game. I hope this tutorial did help you out today and if this did help you out, I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a minute to thank you guys for watching this tutorial and I will see you in the next video.